What's going on one and all and welcome to Planet Coaster. Yes, this is one of my most anticipated games in a long time actually. Uh, if you're like me and you ever, when you were younger, played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and loved it and adored it, and then it kind of aged and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 kind of didn't do it for you, and so you've just been in this lull of not being able to play Coaster Builders, this is the game that's going to break that little silence in the era of cold coaster building. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited about this game. This game is amazing. I've already put 30 minutes into this game, and I will show you the only thing I've done so far is build a damn restroom. Look at this. This game is amazing so far. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I literally sat here and built a restroom for 30 minutes. Yeah, so I don't know if you've seen this game at all, have followed any of it, but... The big thing about this game is the modular building system. So basically a restroom at uh, the most bare minimum is this. This is the restroom. This is the building that I created around the restroom and you can go ahead and edit it and it shows you exactly what's like in here. So basically I built up all of this scenery around these two little restrooms. And so this has become my bigger, more realistic looking building that is now the restroom. So, uh, yeah, you could basically, like, if I ever, well, when I expand this park, uh, I can go ahead and duplicate this and just take it wherever and, um, maybe, yep, there it is. There we go. Yeah, I could just, like, if we have a path over here at some point, just put a new restroom down over here and, uh, you know, r rotate it and everything and, yeah. This game is super cool already. It is an alpha, and the alpha was $75. The actual game is not going to be that much. The actual game is going to be only $30, I believe. But, yeah, for early access, um, you will be paying a premium. And I think that's to vet a lot of people who may or may not know the ins and outs of this game. And we'll judge it really hardcore based off of just the alpha, which is what happened with Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and uh, we all saw how that kind of went. Uh, I will say that this game, from what I've seen, I didn't play Roller Coaster Tycoon World. From what I've seen, though, this game is leaps and bounds already past what Roller Coaster Tycoon World is. Um, this is definitely going to be another running series on my channel. Uh, don't worry, guys. City Skylines isn't going anywhere. Uh, One Way Bay is still alive. We just completed the challenge over there, but we still have a lot to do. So uh, that's not going anywhere. This is just going to be another series on my channel because I can already tell I'm going to love playing this game. So uh, yeah, what are we doing right now? Well, we're going to clear some trees away. Um, we're going to see some quirky things like this where I put a path down and there's still a tree in it. Um, I'm just going to chalk that up to... It being an alpha I mean there's really nothing else to say about it so I really want to build this park out I'm playing the sandbox map um, and I left this sign here uh, coming soon coaster time folks yeah so we are going to be doing a coaster build either in this episode or in the next episode um, yeah right now coaster builder is actually not a thing but Apparently, if we come over here, we go to search, and we type in under construction, it unlocks the coaster builder, right like that. So now we have the coaster builder, and we have two types of coasters that we can build with. We will get to building a coaster in a little bit, but first things first, and we need to place a ride down, and obviously the first ride we place down has to be a Ferris wheel. Every park has one. It's got to have one. I mean, uh, this one's called the Star Wheel, whatever that... That works for me. We just need to place this bad boy down, and I'm kind of wanting to put it maybe on an angle like this. Will it work like this? Maybe. Um, yeah, actually right there. That works. Cool. Uh, we now have to place our entrance to the ride, which I guess we'll put right about here. And then the exit to the ride, which I always like to put on the opposite side. And we'll... Can I just... There we go. Place it wherever we need to back here. And we'll connect up paths after we go ahead and add a queue, which is pretty simple to do. The path system's really cool. You can snap it to angles, you can snap it, or you can take snapping off and just freeform it, 
and uh, do whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, I think I hear people already coming in. Where are they? Oh, yep, here they come. We got a ride down, and here comes what? What was that? Here comes the mass of people to ride the Ferris wheel that we are now world renowned for, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna wind this around a little bit like this. I'm kind of planning on putting uh, scenery and not path work, but uh, buildings up in here. So I need to leave a little bit of room for stuff like that, and then I'm just gonna wind this back around up to here, I guess. Works. I'm not sure how this game's gonna work with. Um, okay, it's not gonna. It's not. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one thing that kind of confuses me. We need a ticket booth to go ahead and place down, and I'm hoping this joins up, and it's not going to. We'll delete that part of the queue, we'll add the ticket booth. Oh my god, it's really loud around here right now. There are so many people in the park. Um, yeah, there we go. We are all hooked up now. Let's go ahead and finish up this pathwork to go behind here so we can get an exit and then open this ride and have these people, or give these people something to do because right now they don't have much to do. I love this, you can widen the paths and uh, go ahead and place them however you wish. I think that works. I guess the Ferris wheel is slightly on an angle right now, which is gonna bug me, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna fix it right now. Um, and then, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and place this and uh, bring this down a little bit. This needs to be around four. So there we go. And then I'll shrink this to a five from this six meter wide path. And uh, we'll just kind of sneak around here and go ahead and hook this up. So that snapped kind of funky, but I think it's fine. And let's go ahead and testing is coming soon, apparently. So let's go ahead and just open this bad boy. There we go. We have... A fully functioning star wheel Ferris wheel sure either way there we go so wow there are a ton of people and they are all going to this bathroom oh yes this is awesome I placed these lights uniquely on this building and they are just kind of shooting upward and uh, I actually placed these lights too but they don't seem to be doing much but oh well this just looks so cool and it's got like a red glow from Oh man, it's so beautiful. Look at this. The sunset is casting a red glow, or maybe it's just the Ferris wheel that's casting the glow over. Oh my god, look at all of the people about to go on this. All right. Um I want to place more buildings down, but I don't want to get caught building um scenery on the buildings at this point. But you know what? I'm going to place down something just to show you guys kind of how this goes. So let's go ahead and get a premium food shop. We'll go ahead and rotate this bad boy to match. Let's snap it to an angle. Um, see, once you, once you like, <laughs> mess up the angle, it stays, which is cool. But you can, you can never get it back to a true, like, 45 as opposed to where it was before. So... Let's try to rotate this in exactly to where we need to. And actually, you know what? Let's just do it over here. We can just rotate this right here. Let's get the food shop. We'll rotate this in right like this. I want to keep this as square to this road as possible. And then we'll go ahead and place this here. Like so. Um, and then this is going to be on a grid. I'm wondering if we can do like a 45 degree angle. I don't think we can yet. Actually, let me check. Where are the walls? Okay, so this wall here, we can actually snap to 45, and it doesn't appear... What? Hold on. No, it doesn't appear as though we can actually snap it to 45s right now, which is kind of strange, because you see it's in this grid right now. Um, so we'll have to go ahead and work with what we got here. So what is some of these walls? Like, what are these? These are a paneled coaster half wall. Um, half walls, half walls. Can I, like, rotate this around upside down? I'm not sure. I know you can go up and down with it and side to side. What the heck did I just do? Oh, you know what? There's a control Z and a control Y in this game. 
I undid it and I redid it, so that's very cool. Um, accidentally did it there, but you know what? I'm gonna have to get used to it. Um, yeah, so like I, like I was saying, you can go ahead and build all of this stuff around these buildings, which is really, really cool. Um, and all these glass walls. So basically, you can make like skyscrapers and stuff in this game, which is really awesome. But I'm gonna have to experiment more with that off camera because you guys do not want to see me do that. But for right now, we'll leave this here, uh, just so people can get some food. Uh, I should mention that the in the alpha right now, as it sits, there are no tools for park management, and I don't think guests get hungry or bored or whatever at this point. See, there's no guest management. There's a lot of things in this game that are coming soon, as the sign reads. So, yeah, we're just going to have to bear with it. And uh, they're planning on phasing in three versions of the alpha. So this one is just the base, uh, just to kind of see what's going on. Oh, man, I would not want to be riding that right now. Oh, wow. That's a very strange... Wow, what the heck? Oh, this is a sweet Ferris wheel. Very interesting. Huh. The cars kind of like slide down or get stuck over here, but either way, um, yeah, very strange Ferris wheel. As I was saying, though, the uh, alpha is going to get phased in. We're going to get uh, park management and then the coaster builder uh, officially, I guess. The coaster builder has been in. It's just hidden right now, um, but we definitely want to go ahead and build a coaster, and we're going we're gonna to do that right now. But I'm just going to speed this up right now. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, s actually, you know what? We'll move this sign. That's what we'll do. We're going to move this sign. We're going to place it right about here. I always right click to um, rotate. And in this game, you don't do that. Uh, I think I get that from City Skylines because you can do that in City Skylines. Uh, we're going to move that sign to right there. What the hell was... Oh. It's our little entertainer. He's, like, running away from the park right now. Where are you going, sir? What the hell? This guy, what are you even doing? Um, you're out of property. I... If you do anything weird, illegally strange, I can't... I can't be liable for you out there. So you're on your own, bro. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's get back into the park, and let's get back into designing something. Do we want to actually... You know what? We do. We want to make this a stone path. And we want to make this as wide as possible, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, and I want to do this out to, like, here. And I want to delete this and get it back. There we go. Uh, I'm not so sure that's very straight, but... it. This game gives a lot of character to itself. Uh, and by that, I mean, like... Roads are never exactly straight in real life, so I mean you're gonna get this kind of thing where it's a little off uh, And actually it's very off at this point. You know what? I don't like it I'm gonna go ahead and fix it I think it's because we have a 10 meter wide thing and I think those are either 9 or 8 So let's go ahead and fix that up right quick um, Yeah, it looks like those are 8 so I wish there was like an eyedropper tool that I can grab all of the settings from that road and apply it and just tweak little things. Maybe that'll come in a future update. Who knows? Uh, like I said, this game is in development and it is very much in development at this point. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and actually have to plow through a bunch of uh, trees over here. Give me a second. All right, so that took a little longer than expected because I accidentally uh, deleted the Ferris wheel. <laughs> uh, no worries, though. We got it back, and luckily there's an undo button. This this is invaluable already. Like, it saved me a couple times already. But, all right, let us get to this roller coaster builder. We have a Arrows track, which is a coaster track for Drop Dead, Equalizer, Gasm, and Phoenix Cars. Or a box spleen track. Spline? Spleen? Spline, I believe. Uh, which is for an Anubis, Enigma, Lamia, Rage, and Werewolf Cars. I uh, probably slaughtered a lot of that, but whatever. Alright, so I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with me as I learn on the fly. Um, what? What? Why can't I, uh, why can't I do this? Can I... 
somehow figure this out. Okay, maybe that'll work. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, guys, please help me. All right, there we go. I, it just needs to kick the car out a little bit and give it some momentum so I can turn it around and go up this way. So, um, yeah, I think this is what we need to do here. New plan, guys. We are going to go ahead and build this thing less far... Oh, closer to over here is what I'm trying to say. Let, let's get this thing going. Jeez, this is taking forever already. All right, so I need to go down like this slightly. Do a spin over like this. And there we go. Let us go ahead and go up with this coaster. Look at that. How steep do we want this incline to be? Um, not that steep. Let's go with like that. Okay, that works. And uh, let's just go up with it. I don't know how tall this is going to be. I don't think there's a height marker yet on this. Let me see. Attach, attach and rotate, loops and all that jazz. Smooth. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, it doesn't appear as though there's any height markers. So we're just going to build something simple for now. Something like this, I guess. Let's go shorter and let's go just about that tall. We'll give it a nice gentle slope over like this. And then we'll launch down into our hill. And to do that, we'll take this track off and go ahead and just do a nice gentle sloping hill. Just like this. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and smoothen it out just a little bit. And go with a big drop here. And get a lot of speed going up. And then a nice, smooth, overarching turn up here. Nice and smooth. The thing about roller coaster design is that you want it to be nice and smooth. And a lot of people don't understand that. So, uh, that's not smooth. Not smooth at all, actually. Let's go like this. This is a major bank turn. I'm really hoping that we actually lose enough speed out of this and actually this is gonna look sweet when it's done let's keep going with the turn and go ahead and smoothen it out a little bit even um, and do we want to drop down even more I think so well geez I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just trying to make it as smooth as possible that is the name of the game ladies and gentlemen smooth coaster design is the name of the game I think I have an idea here we're just gonna go down like this and smoothen it out and actually turn it straight and pull it up a little more I think we I think we're pretty much on where we need to be um, straight again I think I'm not exactly sure but let's just go with it um, we're gonna pick up some speed through here we're gonna actually I don't know do I want to go back up probably yeah, we're gonna go back up with it. We're gonna kill off a little bit more speed like up through here. And I think this is fine. I'm gonna actually turn this down here, the length of it, um, and then smoothen it all out. And I'm thinking we're gonna go this way with it and slightly turn. And I, I really like this coaster designer so far. Oh man, it lets you do so much stuff already. Um, Oh, there we go. We can actually snap this to 45 degree angles and stuff. So that actually helps a lot. So we should be back up into normal, straight up and down. And then we're just going to throw them back into a nice big looping curve again. And I don't know if that's going to be enough clearance. It is. And it actually gave me that, so that's nice. It gave me the... Uh, smooth uh, flat part it actually made me do it because you can't go underground just yet I don't think um, but yeah let's go up like this we'll go ahead and turn this bad boy um, and s not smoothen it out I've said that way too much already actually let me take this away um, go ahead and flat it out I believe is what the word I was looking for we're gonna go flat again. We're going to give it a nice little uh, sharp turn here. 
And to do that, I'm actually going to add a little bit more banking because that's going to be a pretty fast turn. Um, and then, oh, you know what? We're going to go down like this into maybe a corkscrew or something. I don't know if I even want to do a full... Uh, any inversions on this coaster yet. I'm not sure. So nice and smooth like this. We'll straighten it out. We'll actually pull it down again. Uh, I'm liking how this looks. I'm just hoping that the train makes it over that first hill. I'm actually hoping that the train makes it to the chain lift. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So what do we have? We have rolls and a bunch of other things. Should we go ahead and throw one of those in? Mm, yeah, I think so. We're just going to go a nice smooth hill like this and then into some sort of roll. Let's go ahead. $10,000 barrel roll? Nah. Let's go with a... Oh, wow. A zero G roll. That thing is huge. That's huge. I, I wonder if I can shrink these. I can, I think. I can shrink these down. That's really cool. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so we can actually do like a small barrel roll like that. You know what? I think we can actually just make our own roll can't we um can we let's see let's let's do oh we can so we could basically do whatever the hell we want here so let's go ahead and flip this up let's make this a little longer just a simple little inversion here is all we need to do just like this um and then bring it down and this is going to be a really cool little hill. Um, and by hill, I mean turn. And we'll f oh, wow, this is going to be really cool. Um, I hope, I hope this is cool. If we roll over this way, I'm actually motioning with my hand as like the car. If I roll that way, I'm going to want to, yeah, I could come down that way too. Um, yeah, this is a lot of imagining. This is my process when it comes to games like this. So, I don't think everyone's going to want to watch me build coasters like this. So, bear with me for this episode. Um, and then in the future episodes, I might not do so much building like this on camera. Because it might get a little boring. But there we go. Um, and then out into a big looping turn. Back toward the station, I think. I think this is about it. I think this should probably be the rest of this coaster. I don't think we need to do much more. I think they've had their fun so far, and then they will just head back toward the tra uh, not the track, but the, uh, to the station here, and we'll go ahead and meet it up. I'm wondering... Actually, I'm wondering if they're gonna be able to put, like, uh, photo stops and stuff in. Probably. But... Uh, that will probably come later. And then, alright. I wish there were height markers on these tracks here. Um, and I'm hoping that this is actually... Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if I should bank this turn, actually. You know what? I think I should. I'm wondering if this is at the degree that we need, which is zero. But there we go. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and snap this over to here like this. And not up like that, but... <laughs> can I turn snapping off? Yes, I can go ahead and pull it like that and that. And then, basically, we just need to get back to the station here. And I'm actually going to turn snapping back on just to get this nice and squared away again. And put this back in toward the station. I'm not sure... There we go. Um, although, I'm wondering if I can go back here and add, like, brakes. Yeah, sweet. So, I'm wondering how the brakes even work in this game. I'm not exactly sure. But, yeah, that's that. I'm wondering if we can test this coaster as well. Um, so, yeah, I think we're complete. Uh, if I go like this, what happens? Can I click on this? We have to place the entrance. Okay. Uh, we'll place the entrance right about here. We need to place the exit, which I always want to put on the other side, but I'm not exactly sure if that is enough space, but add Q to the entrance, okay, not a big deal here, 
Go ahead and slope some of that down. Um, we're going to obviously wind this around a bunch. I didn't want to go that far down. Um, and hopefully fill this up with a bunch of people. Uh, is the game running right now? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, this game, I mean, it's not really that CPU intensive, I don't think, or computer intensive. Although I do have a pretty beastly machine right now. So maybe, I, I don't know, it just seems to be running at um, a perfect 30 frames per second. Although that's because I have the recording software locked in at 30 sec frames per second. So um, that might be the reason for that. But there we go. And remember to add the ticket booth. I'm wondering if they're going to add any sort of um, different kinds of ticket booths. I'm assuming they will. Um, okay, connect up. What are you doing? Connect up, please. Oh, it was facing the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we'll go ahead and plop this here. And we'll go ahead and not... What is debug? Debug is... Edit track. Incomplete track. Ride status incomplete. And you know what? It's probably because... No, I don't know. Um, why add a train? Oh, there we go. The status is open. Not sure why. Actually, that train looks terrible. Can I... Can I delete a train? Remove it. Let's close this down. Let's... Can I... What kind of train cars can we get? Uh, Rage? What is Rage? Let's add a train. Oh, that's a sick car right there. Can I have more than a couple here? Yeah, let's go with six. Let's go with seven. There we go. That fits completely. That works. Let me go ahead and connect this path up over here for the exit. And uh, you know what? We'll go with this weird blue right now. Um, not <laughs> not that big. Although that kind of looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but no, I don't want it that big there. Um, go ahead and connect this up with a five, I guess. And we'll just kind of slowly ramp it down to the bottom here. And we'll hook it up over here. And it's perfect because it actually leads right out to the bathroom. So if anybody is not feeling well after riding this beastly coaster, which looks awesome from back here, um, they will go ahead and just head off into the bathroom. So, all right. Let's go ahead and open it. I'm not really sure. I don't think I can test it. Um, so, yeah. Also, we can add buildings, much like the modular buildings over here. We can make this building, um, look better than it is, which I will do. Uh, but not right now. I just want to see this thing run. And we'll just go ahead and wait for some people to head over to it. Come on, people. What? I wonder, can you see what people are thinking? Not yet. So, all right, there they go. They're going on to whatever we're going to name this coaster. I don't know if we can even name this coaster. Can Coaster 1. I don't think we can name it, but if we could, I think um, we would have to come up with a name. So, let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas for a name for this coaster. Uh, hopefully it works, and if it doesn't, uh, I'm sure that your names will reflect it. All right, so they're loading up right now. Uh, there's just more and more people coming up. Let's, uh, let's watch them as they get on. Actually, you know what? It just decided, decided to go. So, all right. Here we go. It's going up the hill. And I believe you can actually get on. Yes. Let's go ahead and ride this thing. Oh, wow. Um, that's a cinematic camera, and that's really awesome. But we can actually go ahead and ride this as, like, a person. So, here we go. Hopefully it makes it. This is a big drop. Oh, I love roller coasters. I don't know if you guys love roller coasters as much as I do, but it's not going to... It's just barely going to make it. Yes, <laughs> we've made it. Oh, I'm amazed. Oh, wow. I hope it makes it through the rest. I thought we'd have a lot more speed than that, but um, yeah, I, I think we'll be okay here. Nice, smooth roller coaster. Like I said... Smooth is the key to everything. 
Let's go over this weird banked curve that I have. It's a little fast through there, but you know what? It works. And the end of that curve could actually use for a little bit of a uh, tweaking. But you know what? All in all, I think that was a pretty successful roller coaster for the first try and not having any ghost car to make it work. So, yeah, unfortunately we can't see any of the guests' reactions to it, but hopefully the line will go ahead and form. Oh man, we have a huge line over here already, but yeah, guys, let me know if you like this game, if, if this looks promising, and if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and stay tuned for more Planet Coaster. I'm nicknaming this the Alpha Park, because it's in Alpha, of course. But yeah, stay tuned for more episodes for that from this, and I will see you right back here in the Alpha Park.